Grand Risings, Grand Supreme Supreme Risings, y'all. You know I love y'all. Hey, I'm much better today. Well, you know, my sleep cycle was so off and everything. So, yeah, I'm going to hold on and get my little coffee fit. Mm. Today, I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to take it easy, okay? But I did. Oh, they got me up. <laughs> they got me up. Let's go. Um, Yeah, so it got deepity deep yesterday. But, you know, listen, listen. That whole thing with the BLM stuff and everything, let me tell you something. <laughs> I got something to tell you. Let me tell you something. That stuff, it just, it really got to me, man. That's what I'm saying. When you are empath, things hit you like that. I'm not apologizing for nothing I said, okay? Listen, I'll let y'all have it. I'm not playing. I'm tired of this. Listen, I'm one of the elders now. I'm almost 60 in May. I ain't got time for this. So, I know what's happening. I know things are going to happen. I have no control over that. I, I get all that, you know what I'm saying? But it's still... Some of it's just common sense. You know, many, 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 many of us is awakening now. We, we, you know, we coming into the knowledge. So what y'all doing? What y'all doing? That's, that's what that was about. Like, cut it out. Cut it out. I mean, but yeah, there's many, many lost people that ain't close, even, even near close to waking up. And that's why we going through what we going through, being the people that we are. The, you know, the holy watchers. So... Um, I explained that in the last video, the last couple. We're going to skip it on this uh, section today. This section is going ham and deep on the enlightenment stuff. You know, we're going, we're going to get it all end up into it. The Moors, everybody. Maces, the Moors. And I got to talk in code sometimes with some of this here stuff because, you know, don't want to get one strike left. But I ain't really, like I said, I ain't worried about all that. We're going to follow, follow the guidelines, follow the rules told y'all especially in my personal message i gave you please it is time save this stuff send it out no matter what happens i need y'all to do that it's not for me it's for everybody else okay this is the purpose of the whole mission i don't want it just to be a waste of time <laughs> you know we didn't we didn't do all this for nothing i've been on the grinds from november 30th <laughs> that's what we're only on what today's the today's the 10th and that's another thing that reminds me. Tomorrow's the 11th. The another portal opens. Do you understand how important that is? Let me break it down for you. Tomorrow's 11-11 portal. Remember I told you the angel number is 13. And it's cousin. Very closely related is that 11-11. And I told you how that number, a lot of people be getting, hitting the lottery and all that kind of stuff. I'm not telling you to run out and do that. But it's a very significant number. People see, you, maybe you've been seeing it. People see it, you know, how we see in numbers and repetitions ever since all this shifting stuff been going on. And the veil been lifted. People are like, I keep seeing threes. I keep seeing one, two, one, two. That's mine. One, two, one, two. Those are my twin mama's numbers. But yeah, that 1111 is big. And I, listen, in this world of symbolism, you know them folks I'm talking about, they like it. It has something to do with what 11 means for them being like 11, one and one, twin towers. That's why 9-11 has some significance here. Um, but then it's also, it's just about twin mirroring stuff, some, some stuff like that. But that's them. We ain't worried about them. It's another angelic number that comes from the, the it's relative. It's family member of the, the highest number, which is our number, the angelic 113 that they've been lying about. So anyway, yes, you need to, I, I, I've been rushing y'all and trying to prep you for this, 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 you know, the shift where y'all get and do your intentions under the moonlight and all that stuff. I gave you everything. Please, please. I'm telling y'all, you got to do it at least tomorrow. You, you just step into it and do it. No matter what, if you're worried about it, if it's going to be right, if it's going to be perfect or not, don't worry about it. God will guide you. He just told me, tell them, God, I will guide them. I'm going to be with them. So just start it. Just try it. Just attempt it. Make some notes of the last couple of videos. Write down wherever I was talking about intentions. Is I think I was wearing a white or a blue, sky blue, pinkish shirt. I don't know. A very light, light shirt. It was about a few episodes back. I gave you the, the how to do set the intentions like really, really, really. Plus in the videos I told you you could, um, you could screenshot them. I told you all that stuff. So take advantage of it because tomorrow is a big portal. And then we got another one on the 30th. But then it also says on the calendar, on the 15th, is a, is a full moon. 
those are all nights to take advantage. But I said, like, right now, take advantage of it every night and say your prayers and stuff. But intention night, setting those deep, serious, I am going to have with a surety, certainty, those intentions I'm talking about. Go back and look at those videos, make some notes, and get with it because tomorrow ain't no joke. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to make no videos tomorrow because I'm going to be all about that. I'm going to be all day meditating, cleaning up, hearing just good sounds, purifying. Like, don't even knock on my dough, okay? I'm not playing. Back it up, leaving me be. And, and you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm a, that's hard for me because I'm such an empath. I want to keep making some more stuff for y'all. But after this, because I already know what I just put together, it's going to be a minute. So, let me start with this before I forget. I want to get it out the way. Now, I forget, when I'm telling y'all that I didn't feel good yesterday, I really don't. You know, I'm still not that great, but a little bit better. So, in regards to that, I forgot completely. I just started two new supplements. Well, they're not really new. But I switched back from my old bur my, my, my the berberine I, I tried, which is dehydroberberine, I showed y'all. That's for diabetes, by the way. It take, you take that herb, it's all natural, and your diabetes will be gone. The numbers go gone. Poof, no more. You, you know, they don't tell you about this herb. This herb is a miracle herb, like from India. You take that, you ain't going to have them high sugars. But that don't mean you can run out and start eating ice creams and cookies and all that. It's just, it's really... That aid and helps you with your, your journey to getting into the holistic and the exercise and everything else. Do you take that? I'm telling you, them sugars will be gone. Gone. You don't got to take none of that crap the farmer gives you. Okay, so this one is the cold season. I forgot to tell you about this one. Oil of oregano. Now, this stuff is so powerful. I mean, it's such a concentrated thing about oregano in here. It'll burn you. So you've got to um, dilute it with water. But you take a dropper full, get it down there somehow. you be like... <coughs> And water, you be chasing it with water, but that's okay. Do what you got to do. Get it in. You take this, oh, it'll knock the snot right out of your behind. I'm telling you, you'll be better. Winter colds, or no, you ain't got to worry. This is a deodorant I created, just so y'all know. I mean, it's almost gone. I'm about to make some more. I don't use none of them commercial stuff in the stores because they got all kinds of chemicals in them. PFAs and PFOs, the forever chemicals. Y'all heard about them. If not, we'll talk about them another day. But aluminum is a big one. A lot of people, y'all still are cooking with aluminum pans and stuff. You don't even get it. Aluminum is a heavy metal. We got to detoxify from the metals that get in our body. And when you cook with aluminum pans, it's leaching all into your food. You got to, stainless steel is okay. But your best bet is ceramic dishes with no stick lining. You know, Don't be getting that non-stick uh, pans and stuff. That lining right there is like getting forever chemicals. It does put forever chemicals in your food. You know, that company DuPont, they're part of the 13 Illuminati, mm -mm -mm, you know what I'm saying, family? So, of course, they're the ones responsible for stuff like that. Lead poisoning and things in paint. They've been finding all the, the stuff, toxins in the waters and everything. Mm-hmm, that's them. So, this here, I go to that. Like, I like you, any essential oil. Coconut oil, essential oil, and some baking soda. Use, like, at your discretion. Two couple tablespoons, whatever. Stir that stuff all up. Then put it in the cabinet and let it sit. And you go put that on for deodorant instead. Now, it doesn't last as much as the other ones, but you just, you know, you put a little bit more heavier or whatever. It works for me. But listen, I like pre preferably when I go to Connecticut, I get the African um, black soap. I use that. I don't use the soaps in the stores. I wash and I got a liquid African black soap. Pure, natural. That's so bubbly and everything. Don't even get it twisted. It works good. I, I got the liquid one. I wash my hair and condition. It conditions your hair and everything. That's all I use is the African black soap. But the, in the, the essential oils I use for this is the African oils. One is called Invicticus and the other one is Molly. I think it's like Bob Molly. I don't know. But I'm, but I'm going to rotate. They smell so good. I put them in a diffuser. The whole house smells good. Lastly, I use this whole thing telling y'all about this coconut toothpaste. Yes, this is the bomb. Stop brushing with that fluoridated stuff and stop getting them products in the dollar store. The dollar store, I love it. Listen, I get that stuff in there like decorations and all that too. But when it comes down to putting things in your body, <laughs> beware. PFOAs, PFOs, forever chemicals is covered in all them plastics in there. And you get the glass though, you get the glass and the ceramics. But leave them chemical things alone. Um, and then in the bodily stuff, toothpaste, the fluoride, all that, don't know, the hair, the shampoos and all that, mm -mm. look for all natural. This got moringa, 
um, cinnamon, black seed, uh, uh, coconut, and ginger, and it's very good. We're almost done. See you in the next one. Stay tuned for the stuff on Enlightenment.